Hello and welcome to something very impromptu. So, with the new update, uh, with this new season, or at least the week 13 update, iRacing has made a mistake <laughs> and kind of broken the Arca car. We haven't got that data. Um, and you'll notice the rev limiter goes all the way up to almost 10 now. Uh, that is 10,000 RPM. <laughs> Normally, we're stuck down about 7,500. So, Justin Yi, well-known ARCA driver, and who has a very good channel himself, decided to do a quick hosted race, very impromptu. Uh, you kind of just had to notice right away on his uh, ARCA Farmer Discord. So we've got lots of fast guys in here, and uh, just a, really a, a couple of people that uh, just how happened to be looking and are ready to join. <laughs> so very interesting. Trying to get race libs up. You can see how last second this is. I uh, kind of just really quickly ran a couple laps to see how it feels. I'm going to accidentally shift at 7500 a couple times, I think, just because I'm so used to it. Um, I have not experienced this yet. Other than, like, the really quick practice. We've got a 4000 strength of field. <laughs> Which is so funny, because we've only got like a handful of people in here. we got 11 racers. I have no idea what this is going to look like. I did not practice at all. Um, just kind of find, uh, figuring out what this glitch is all about, or whatever it has gone on. I'm curious why this has happened. Like, why would they need to even be changing anything with the ARCA cars? limiter and stuff, you know, makes me kind of wonder, but I'm not going to speculate or anything. Because it's probably wrong, it's just probably they uh, flipped a switch somewhere by accident, but <laughs> we're gonna check this out. We've got Nick in here, we've got Justin, we've got some names you might recognize, like Derek Justice as well. And, uh, <laughs> it'll be fun, whatever this is. Get ready, car is off, time to do your job. Green, 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 post car is off. All right, we survived that. A little bit of wheel spin, because no one's used to having such high RPM, I guess. We've got people spinning down low. We got people spinning right in front of me. We are not used to having such power in our hands. <laughs> I'm just taking it easy right now. Because I don't know what this exactly is going to feel like. And I don't want to be the one spinning and crashing. If I can avoid it. <laughs> We're going to try to uh, kind of ease it around town. I imagine this thing could get very, very loose on exit. Because it already was getting loose on exit to begin with. In the uh, last week with normal conditions, so we're going to be very gentle on throttle, I think, getting back up to speed. I'm very glad I uh, saw this was happening, because I really do want to see what this is like. And so far, it drives just a little bit different. You can see we're definitely loose, having to be a little caref more careful on the throttle. Car inside. Still there, hold your line. Still inside. Clear. You see it like very, very talented drivers are getting loose and having issues. Just uh getting some laps, just trying to figure out what's uh how this thing drives now. We got Nick over here, looks like he's on the high side, maybe backing out a little bit. Oh backing out a little bit. Looks like he almost came and got me. I'm taking it real easy. We got 35 laps, and uh, of course, Justin assured us all. No cautions, because this is Arca, of course. Don't be absurd. <laughs> V6. 
So we're just going to try to hit some consistent laps. They haven't driven away from us by any means, so that's cool. Ryan is leading the race. Something we might want to look out for is I've heard the engine tips t uh, temperatures can get a little bit hot. So you know what? I'm actually going to put this up. Um, it looks like it's plenty fine right now, but you never know. So we're apparently running with just a little bit of extra power right now. So, lots of speculation as to how and why this happened. Oh, Nick! Nick blew an engine? Oh no! I, want, I didn't check. This, I wonder if this was open setup and Nick tried to uh, change his gear or something a little bit for that extra speed and uh, the engine uh, did not like it. That's my guess as to what happened there. Um, Justin may have allowed us to change our setups. Unless he just got some nose damage and uh, car did not like that. That sucks. Uh, I guess he's going to be out of it. Bummer, man. Um, we do have fast repairs, so he could come back out and just race, which I hope he does, because obviously this is just for fun, and experiencing this car as it is in its current state, which may not last for very long. I see a wreck. Oh my god, I can't believe he kept that straight. Sorry, but I'm Yeah, really, really loose up there, sorry, Derek there, did. Split up and I just wasn't expecting it, my bad. I'm being very yeah, careful in that throttle. And that's why. <laughs> Those rear tires are gonna get hot. This ain't your average ARCA car anymore. <laughs> so I'm taking the tire saving approach. Pretty much just taking it how I would normally at ARCA last week, but with just a little bit more careful on tire saving. So even if it doesn't come back to me and I don't finish well, I want to be able to stay in control of this car for sure. Have fun out here. Again, thank you to Justin for hosting this kind of out of nowhere. I'm glad I could be here. Of course, the uh, thing that everyone thinks, you know, the Arca car with some more power, essentially what we have here is like an old, I guess it would be like an old Bush series car, wouldn't it? Most accurately? Gen 4 era? Maybe more, maybe even like Cup series? I'm not very knowledgeable about all that, I'll be blunt about exactly how the cars run or the specifications, but um, having more power definitely brings you back to that era. That's what everyone thinks comes to mind. And everyone's actually been really enjoying this glitch or this uh, error or bug or whatever ended up happening here. There's been some fun. People have been as actually asking iRacing, don't fix it. Like, uh, if you want to, you know, keep the uh, gear ratios or something for the Arca car or do something with it, but. You know, people like having more power in this car. It's really something that people have been asking for for ages. A Gen 4 era car with some power. That's pretty much what we have here. Justin up in the wall. I'm getting PTSD. That's That looks familiar. Let me not Arca break him again, huh? <laughs> if you didn't see my... Uh, race my uh the race I uploaded Justin got in the wall in front of me and I was horrible and didn't slow down nearly enough for him to gather it up and I got into him and I felt so bad about it so now I'm seeing him getting in the wall in the same set of quarters I didn't think anything I didn't change anything either. I didn't change even like gears or anything. 
I didn't have time. I just got in here. <laughs> like I said, I, I ran I like. Use my hack now that we have to launch through the UI. Justin Wash. You're in fourth position. Getting kind of tight mid corner. We're in P4 though, that's not so bad. I mean, we're right behind Derek Justice and you know he knows what he's doing. Of course, Justin knows what he's doing as well. I'm just kind of taking it easy. Your lap time was 32.9. Ooh, okay. Getting loose on exit. I figure we'll probably migrate to the top. Um, that's going to be a bit, a bit scary, though, because I haven't really practiced at all anywhere, but especially not the top, and the top is where the wall is. So, got to be careful up there. Ooh, ooh, loose in the trial. Can you believe it? In the quad oval, I just got loose. What world do we live in? Yeah, I don't think my iris thing got installed properly. Y'all just yarded me on the street. <laughs> the gap to Ryan behind is now 0.9. I got loose in the quad oval last lap and it was beautiful. So we're not very good. We can see these guys are obviously much better than I am. Every one of them is either 6.9k or higher. So I'm not going to like frown at being a couple car lengths behind them. <laughs> but that's definitely not something I uh, have experienced in the past here in the Arctic car. Getting loose on essentially what is a straightaway. I think we're falling off even more. Those guys know how to just get in a car and know how to drive it. I'm pretty sure they've probably been driving this a little bit today. I just like, I got home from work, I was so exhausted, I took a nap. And then I woke up and I saw that this was happening, I ran to my, <laughs> ran to my computer. So, uh, didn't exactly practice or even warm up with any kind of racing. Really what I should be doing if I'm going to be a YouTuber is like checking out the new content and being like, hey, this is the new Formula Ford, which I will check out for sure. Instead, I'm like, haha, Arca car. <laughs> Arca car, fast now. <laughs> I'm not very good at being a YouTuber, I guess. <laughs> but that's fine. I'm just going to do what I want to do. And right now what I want to do is drive this. Silly, happy accident. And hopefully not become an accident myself here by spinning. I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing, kind of taking it easy. Not over revving this thing. Nick checks out. Unfortunately, he blew his engine with uh, what I assume was a probably a larger gear. Or, you know, you know, higher revs. I tried doing the high side right there, but I was so scared. I was, like, pushing it too hard. We found ourselves a nice little place in fourth here. I always kind of figured this was going to happen, um, given that we only had 11 people. Probably we're going to find our own 
a uh, little pocket here, but right now it's kind of just experiencing this uh, car in its current state while we still can in case they take it away from us. <laughs> so, it's all about just driving the course. I'm happy to do so. We are coming to 11 to go. Up next. Very interested to see what my tires are. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty bad on the right front. This thing's running kind of tight. Your last lap time was at 33.5. Except on exit, of course. So I probably should have been getting on uh, the right rear with the throttle a little bit more, maybe. But I also didn't want to be doing that off the start, because wanted to make sure I could hold on to this thing and not be a hazard while everyone's trying to have fun and enjoy their experience this uh, this little anomaly so it's 10 to go now we'll take a chance here and try the high side <laughs> yeah it's super tight I'm probably really I've probably been really bad on the right front Just try middle. I might be better at that. For error. Okay, For me. Probably a little bit faster. If I'm a little more daring. Kind of getting the hang of it, though. I'm so used to how the Arca car drives, I'm still trying to drive it when it's a little bit... Oh no! We gotta spin! Where's he coming back up? Oh! Oh, that's Derek Justice! Did he get loose in the quad oval? That was like before the corner, wasn't it? I told you! <laughs> it gets loose in the quad oval! Inside. Clear. Well, we got Steve over here on our bumper. He's looking faster, but we are in P3. Just by lasting this long. Loose race car. I don't mind Steve racing me. I'm not battling for any position or anything, and we're just still... Uh, Driving these cars, having some fun. So we'll see if he can get around me. Clear. You've just done a team contact. Still there, hold your line. Keep high. Ooh, feels good putting that throttle down, knowing you've got a little bit of extra juice in it. <laughs> That you can get away with. We're actually catching up to Justin. I think his rear tires might be in bad shape. I know. He, I saw he had a bit of a slide. Shout out to Kenny up there in the lead. Very, very fast and talented racer. Friend of Nick's. He's running away with this thing right now. As the race has gone on. Justin could just be slowing down for me too so he has someone to race. I can see that happening. Justin and I found each other quite a few times during uh, ARCA official racing in this car during the uh, Atlanta week 
<laughs> it's kind of funny. We're we're gonna have ourselves a finish here, maybe. Hopefully, we don't get into each other. Yeah, he looks like he's got some serious oversteer going on. Potentially. Who let me go? Oh, oh ooh, he's getting loose at the exit. What a beautiful sight. Loose on exit. Two laps left. We're on for a podium here. You've just done a 33.6. Less is more when you got a car with power. It's less throttle to get this thing moving through the corridor. Feeling good. We're going to get around Justin, it looks like. He's going to have some fight for us, though, I'm sure. He's going to fight back on the outside. Oh, he's up in the wall. He got a little unsettled. I assume Kenny's probably crossing the line. Good race, good win. This is fun stuff. I hope they don't on the podium. Good drive. Woo, we got P2. I did not expect that, especially with how it started. Good job. Very good job. Oh man, I hope they uh <laughs> Yeah, what a car. You actually have to be careful on throttle. All right. Oh, I didn't even see Brian was in here. And he got third too. Man. Nice. 51, 59, so we were on the right front, but look at that left rear even. 76, you don't really see that with uh, the Arca car. Yeah, I'll share it. I'll definitely share. 51, 59. eighty five, seventy six. <laughs> I think that's really a, a lot of what we were experiencing. <laughs> yeah. That's good stuff. <laughs> So Pizza, that's so fun. I'm so glad we got uh, we got the chance to check this out before they fix it. Hopefully, we uh, get to keep it in some capacity. We'll see. Maybe it hints at something they're creating for the future. I don't want to just uh, be speculating, though. I have no knowledge of that at all. But you just do kind of wonder what they're uh, tinkering with here. But off the start, we had Steve on the throttle. Just over revs it, maybe. Maybe having just to do with shifting and how crazy that can be. So we uh, thankfully were able to get around that. Yeah, it looks like maybe during shifting that thing got crazy on him. Then later in lap one, just a blink out. There's Nick blowing his engine, probably. Yeah, you can tell he had crazy speed compared to us, I think. So I think he definitely was. Yeah, we did have uh, the option to change our settings. So he was definitely messing with that. And unfortunately, he just was bad on the uh, temperatures. Because I, I think with this extra power, they didn't necessarily do anything for the temperatures either. Unfortunately, Derek, I, I recognize him from racing a lot of... Uh, he's in the Silver Crowns a lot, I believe. 
He just gets a little bit of a snap loose and cracks into the wall. Burger King having his way. <laughs> having a day. I don't know. I'm trying to be funny and I'm not. Justin, this is when we saw him into the wall, it looks like. I was being really careful um, whenever I was heading up there the couple of times because it did it has driven just a little bit differently, for sure. And so I wasn't exactly sure how how far I could push it. Jack, into the wall just a bit. You can see handling going away like crazy. Just can't can't get on that uh, throttle as hard. No way, no sir. <laughs> Was that some loose in the quad oval? Yep. Look at that. That's unbelievable. Having enough power to actually get loose in the quad oval. The regular Arca car could never. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm overreacting, but I think it's just it's. I'm smiling, man. It's so funny. What we got here nothing. Maybe he's about to blink. I think he blinked early in the race. Oh, Justin, just a tiny bit of the wall and it sucked him in. That's still the same about the <laughs> about the Arca car. Still got that uh, magnet installed in the right side. That's the only reason we caught Justin, I think, I think, because of that wall hit. Kenny pushing the limits up there, that's why it was so fast. I wasn't uh, quite so brave to get up there on the high side and really push it. Took the more, like, conservative approach. Justin giving it his all, heading to the white flag here. I was just being real ginger on the throttle. I think it paid off pretty well. Considering some of the uh, handling issues we've seen people having. Okay, what happened to Justin here that uh, he lost third place? Did he get in the wall? I think, I, yeah, I do remember he did get to the wall. He was trying to use some throttle maybe to get the car rotated halfway through the corner. And it just kind of four tires slid on him maybe a little bit. And uh, didn't have enough grip left for him. And now just even trying to get it back straight again with all that power. It was a bit of a task. It's a good race to him. I'm glad we didn't run into each other. Oh, I think we had a close finish, maybe. Oh, just to get loose in the quad oval. If anything, maybe a celebration that it's actually even possible. Or he just turned left. That's what we do here. We turn left. <laughs> KOs it. And that was our fun little experiment here. I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. Um... As we wrap up the incidents here, just got some people slowing down. Fun little anomaly with the uh, Arca car. Um, just a little glitch. They messed up the uh, limiter or added some horsepower. And I don't know. It's weird, right? Why did they add some horsepower to it? What are they experimenting with uh, over there at iRacing? But for now, we'll just enjoy that for what it was. Um, it'll probably get patched. But uh, we'll... Uh, feel satisfied knowing we got to experience it. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time, probably uh, to do some actual new content. <laughs> yeah, try some of that stuff out. So I hope to see you there.